Good. <sighs> Drew's not here. Okay. <laughs> if I were Drew, where would I hide my money? Bet the dinner choices are steak or steak. Holy shit, Drew. A college scholarship? No wonder you're so into football. I didn't realize Drew was this good at sports. I bet he can't wait to get out of Arcadia Bay. Frank wasn't lying. Looks like Drew sells happy pills. So many folks are shit out of luck around here. At least Drew has some prospects. Too bad I lost my release form. I was really looking forward to running all those <sighs> for the love of God. We might have failed to kill you, Durgaron, but something tells me Mikey's not through. Yet. <laughs> Looks like Mikey's been staying here with Drew. Mikey's figures. <laughs> Playing that game yesterday was actually fun. <laughs> they look so happy. Oh, man. Looks like Drew's dad is having a hard time. Is the money in there? All right. Yes. This is kind of fun. Ah. Oh. Did a little Drew beat you up too? Jackpot. I'm kind of good at this. Okay, got the money. Time to... Elamon. Chloe? What are you doing here? I was <laughs> looking for your brother, but uh, he's not here, so... Why? Bro, we gotta go. Yesterday wasn't enough? You wanna go another round? Doesn't matter. Mikey, get your stuff, let's move. Drew! Relax. Slow down. Shit. You're making me think you're nervous about something. Who the hell is that? No one. Stay in here and don't say anything, little brother. Whatever you do, don't open the door. You know what's going on? Damon, you shouldn't have come here. School's not the place for this. Really? Where is the place to collect my fucking money? Shit. I told you, I don't have it. Sales are down, man. Nobody wants to get high right now. But look, it's spring season. We just started two-a-days. Those are gonna kill us. I'll be able to sell all the oxy you've got. Drew, you owe me a grand. Where is it? I said I don't have it right now. I heard about your dad's job, by the way. Tough times. Yeah. Bet a grand would mean a lot to him right now. Where's my money, Drew? I don't know what you expect me to do. I can't just make money appear out of thin air. <laughs> I want my fucking money! You don't have to hit me, man. I'm gonna... Where is it? Please! Just give me one week. Oh. You're just going to lie there? I thought football players were supposed to be tough. 
Sorry to have to do this, kid. No one steals from me. No one. Fuck. Fuck. Let me go. No. Your brother said to stay inside. It'll be okay, Mikey. It'll be okay. Damn, you are one tough kid. Fuck you. Yeah? Well, what about this? Good luck running on that knee now. Bye-bye football. Well, I'm done. Get my money. Or maybe it'll be your little brother I talk to next. See you soon. Uh, uh, Drew! It's, it's okay. I'm okay, little brother. Thank you, Chloe. Thank you. Uh, here. It sounds like you could use this. You took this from my locker? Frank asked me to. I... I didn't know. I, I'm sorry, man. My dad. He... He needs this money. Way more than that asshole does. Thanks. Drew! You need to get to the hospital. <sighs> Don't tell anyone about this, okay? Yeah, no. No way. What, um, what are you going to do? <sighs> about Damon? I don't know. <sighs> One day at a time. I hear you. This day has been so messed up. At least I can talk to Rachel now. If I can find her back here. After all the work Steph did, it's amazing that she would drop everything to be there for Mikey. Hey, Dana. Did Doug dig David's garden? Or did David dig Doug's? Did Doug dig How David's garden? How if I know? Or did, David... did Doug dig David's
reported David dig dug. Looks like Victoria has finally pushed Dana over the edge. Sup, Mr. Keaton. Why, if it isn't the muse of the Blackwell Drama Department. Tell me, young lady, do you still believe true love exists? <laughs> sure, I think so. But it's a lot weirder and scarier than poets and pop songs make it out to be. <laughs> you might be surprised, my dear. Budding dramaturge, may your propitious appearance counteract the tragedy of Stephanie Gingrich's sudden recusal. An emergency, she says. Uh -huh. Word. Stephanie was our lion of the light board, but platitudinal though it may be, the show must sojourn forth. That dude is... weird. I've already seen what happens when Rachel plays with fire. Rachel plus swords should be fun. Did Doug dig David's garden? Or did David Sports dig just David? look so... Uh, exhausting. Drew seems to be the captain of every Blackwell sport. Man, see? Another reason to be thankful for my, uh, recent life change. Even Hayden seems super into this play. What is happening? Hey, Hayden. Address me as Ferdinand, good lady. All right. Hey, go fuck yourself. Super lame, Chloe. I mean, super lame, fair maiden. Great uh, method acting. Really? Thanks. Chloe Price presents Firewalk. Laser Light Spectacular! Did Doug dig David's garden? Or did David dig Doug's Sports garden? just look so... Uh, exhausting. Rachel? Did Whatever that was, it was shady as shit. I need to find whatever Vic- Victoria slipped into that drink. Adding putting on makeup to the long list of reasons I wouldn't be caught dead on stage. Muscle relaxers? Coming, Rachel. Hurry now before your tea gets... <sighs> what are you doing here? This area is for cast and crew only. Or are you only here to try and sabotage the play like you sabotaged my homework? God, you're pathetic. Oh, I'm not here for the play. I just enjoy hanging out in large tents with naked people. Whatever. Ah. 
Oh, Rachel Amber, it was customary among the thespians of ancient Greece for the understudy to offer hot tea to the lead actress on opening night, as a way of showing appreciation for her tutelage. It is in that spirit that I offer you this beverage. May it help to reveal the essence of your talents for all to see. Wow. That, um... Thanks. Hold up. Did you hear that? Hear what? I didn't hear anything. Oh, I hear it now. It, it sounds like Mr. Keaton's calling for you. He is? Oh, he probably wants my thoughts on the set dressing. Okay, don't go anywhere. I'll be right back. What's going on? Bitch, dosed your tea. That is... the least surprising thing ever. What should we do? Problem solved. Damn, Chloe Price. What would I do without you? Have super relaxed muscles, I guess. Uh, Mr. Keaton's busy with Nathan. I'm sure he'll call on my aesthetic sensibility soon. In the meantime, let us drink. Oh, make sure you drink it all. Your instrument will thank you. I am so grateful to have such a kind and caring friend as you, Victoria. Aw, samesies. Victoria, don't take this personally, but drop dead. Ugh. You are literally the worst. Anyway, I'll see you out there. Break a leg. So... That happened? <laughs> Just when I thought this day couldn't get any batshit crazier. Sweet party! We're ruined! The show is ruined! That was quick. My dear young artists, a misfortune most unkind has befallen us. Juliet is waylaid. That infernal inferno is the culprit, closing down the roads and robbing us of our aerial. Would that she could but manifest on her master's whim as a true spirit. Alas, devoid of an understudy, the situation is a dire one indeed. I'm afraid we may have to cancel. Truly, we are a cursed lot. Even my prodigious imagination cannot conceive of a worse turn of fate. Mr. Cretan, I have revelations to reveal. Rachel Amber is on drugs. Look at her. Her face is so blurry and pretty. Oh, she's clearly been drugged. I mean, drugged herself. She loves drugs, don't you? <gasps> Touche, fates. Touche. What? Oh, no. Mr. Keaton. No. Chloe could step in for Juliet. No fucking chance. At least until the road's clear. The romantic. She's the right fit for Juliet's costume. She is indeed. Tell me, my dear, have you ever acted before? Hell no. She's being modest. We play improv games all the time. And she's fantastic at it. My dear. What if I told you that the entire fate of the production rests upon your slender shoulders? I'd say you're super fucked. Chloe, please. For me. <sighs> Damn it. I can't believe Rachel's talked me into this. I 
seriously have to memorize all of this? When life gives you lipstick, use it to tag shit. <sighs> Got it. Why does it feel like Steph is mocking me from afar? The only thing worse than looking at spandex is being forced to wear it. <sighs> Looks like I'm late, as usual. By accident, most strange, bountiful fortune hath mine enemies brought to the shore. Here, cease more questions. Thou art inclined to sleep. Tis a good dullness, and give it way. I know thou canst not choose. Come away, servant. Come. Ah, shit. I'm on. You. I am ready now. Get up there. Approach, my Ariel. Come. Damn it. No problem. I've got this. I just walk to Rachel and say my line. I wish I could throw that at Rachel for getting me into this. That looks so comfortable right now. Ugh, that killed my eyes. I'm definitely supposed to do something with this. I want to play her part. <sighs> All hail, great mistress. I, uh, I come to answer thy best pleasure. Most fearless, generous spirit. Hast thou performed to point the tempest? That I bade thee? <coughs> I boarded the king's ship in every cabin I flamed amazement. The fire and cracks of sulfurous roaring, the most mighty Neptune seemed to besiege and make his bold waves uh, tremble. My brave spirit, who was so firm, so constant, that this coil would not infect his reason. Uh, not a soul. The king's son, Ferdinand, was the first man that leaped from his ship and cried. Cried, <clears throat> hell is empty and all the devils are here. Yes. But are they, Ariel, safe? All right, 
I guess this is when I'm supposed to walk somewhere. I'm definitely supposed to do something with this. Not a hair perished, and uh, as thou baddest me, I have dispersed them about the isle. In troops! Bravo! Ariel, thy charge exactly is performed, but there's more work. Is there more toil? Let me remember thee what thou hast promised. How now? What is't thou canst demand? My liberty. Indeed. Thy liberty? Nay, this most of all, I will not grant. Th that's not her line, is it? What's going on? But thou assured my freedom, didn't thou? I never said how dearly I hold thee. My habit's been to keep my soul well draped. Most loyal spirit, companion, and friend, is acting in my service not replete with excitement, amusement, and delight? Of course, mistress. Most truly, it is so. Mr. Keat, they're way Shh. off script. It's magical. Then why, I pray you, wish you to be free? Excitements. A mere counterfeit of bliss. These storms and these adventures. I prefer to know thou still cared for my plainest self. I have thee in my grasp. I will not bend. I will not see thee flying forth alone. The envy would be more than I could bear. So come with me. Is that not in thy power? Spirit, take my hands. Most faithful friend, for but a little longer I beseech. Continue in thy service to my schemes. And when they are complete, I swear to thee, we shall fly beyond this isle. The corners of the world are mere prologue. I'll seek to make thy happiness so great that e'en the name of liberty is forgot. What sayest thou to my most hopeful wish? Say yes! yes, I am most pleased. Your duty done for now, so go forth hence with haste. I've work to do. You crushed it! So good. You're a born thespian, my dear. I'll be chasing you down next year. And the ending, absolutely transformative. I am humbled. Thanks. What the hell just happened? Strangeness of Was your that story real? Put heaviness in me. Shake it off. Come on. We'll visit Caliban, my slave. Tis a villain, sir. I do not love to look on. He does make our fire, fetch in our wood. What ho! Slave! Caliban! Come forth, I say! On! Uh, mm. as wicked do as e'er my mother brushed. Thou poisonous slave, got by the devil himself, filth as thou art. I have lodged thee in mine own cell. 
till thou didst seek to violate the honor of my child. Shit. He's crying. Fetch us in fuel and be quick. So, slave, hence. Fuck you. Where should this music be? In the air? Or the earth? Oh, thank God. This play is super intense. What is it? A spirit? It carries a brave form, but it is a spirit. No, wench. It eats and sleeps and hath such senses as we have. I will resist such entertainment. Put thy sword up, traitor! Do you love me? O oh, heaven, O oh, earth, bear witness to this sound. I, beyond all limit of what else in the world do love, prize, honor you. His tears run down his beard like winter's drops from eaves of reeds. Go release them, Ariel. My charms I'll break, their senses I'll restore, and they shall be themselves. Now my charms are all o'erthrown, and what strength I have's mine own. Pray, release me from my bands, with the help of your good hands. You're so dead. Yeah? How dead? Hella dead. rests upon your slender shoulders. <laughs> I've never had an experience like that on stage. Yeah, right? You were... No, you. Like, seriously. I love nights after a show. <laughs> Is it always like this? Oh, totally. It's such a high. No more nerves, just the adrenaline. 
So, first timer, are you proud of yourself? You were literally perfect tonight. I was blown away. <laughs> I think I'm just happy it's over. The last 12 hours have been freaking intense. <sighs> You've gone through so much shit today. Right now is pretty good. Okay, the whole show was good. I admit it. Yeah. <laughs> it was magical. Let's leave. For real. For real, huh? You said you wanted to skip town and never look back. Like I said last night, let's do it. <laughs> I know. I've been thinking about that all day. But that was... <laughs> Don't say it was just a crazy thought. You mean it. I can tell. You want this. Yeah, but like... Eventually. Let's go now. Didn't we already agree on stage? We can't just... <laughs> Why not? Fine then, drama queen. Where are we going? <laughs> you tell me. What uniquely twisted location does Chloe Price plus Rachel Amber equal? Hmm. <laughs> Why don't you show me L.A.? Perfect. 60 degrees every night. You and me on the Santa Monica Pier. Gorging on food truck food. Smoking up. Looking at the moon shining on the waves. And a beautiful blonde man will sit next to us and smile at you. Yeah, okay. He'll say, I like your eyes. And I'll say, back off. She's with me. You're full of shit. <laughs> I love this time of night. <laughs> Don't you just feel like everything's possible? <laughs> Rachel, stop. If you don't mean this, it's, it's just making me feel like shit that this life you're describing isn't going to happen. For fuck's sake! I've never been more serious in my life. <laughs> <sighs> Chloe, what would it take to convince you? How about, um... Oh. Is that convincing enough? Yeah. Holy shit. Right? <laughs> what is this stuff? I think it's a sign. I think we should leave tonight. Really? If you want to. I'm ready. 
Let's go sneak some clothes and stuff from my house. And then, we'll get the hell out of Arcadia Bay. That sounds perfect. Oh, you're home. Rose, Rachel's home. And she um, brought her new friend. Our star returns. You're just in time. Dinner's almost ready. Chloe, was it? It was, but that was before I was expelled. <laughs> Now, it's that girl who used to go here. What was her name again? All one word. Oh, I'm so sorry. I didn't mean to bring up any sore subjects. <laughs> Who's sore? Rachel, honey, you were resplendent tonight. Thanks. Chloe, you must join us for dinner tonight. Uh, she must? I must? Of course. I made chicken a la king. I'm sure you both acted up quite the appetite. Yeah, no thanks. I'm more of a burger a la king kind of gal. She's funny, this one. I'm aware. Chloe, I know we didn't exactly meet each other at our best this morning, but with you and Rachel becoming such fast friends, I insist you join us for dinner. Don't you agree, Rachel? Yes, of course. Chloe, would you join us for dinner, please? Uh, of course. Great. I just need to wash off. Then I'll be right down. Don't be long. In meantime, perhaps you can help me with the table, Chloe? Sure thing, <laughs> Mrs. Amber. Okay, I'm gonna go pack. After dinner, we can make our break. You cool down here? Totally. <laughs> your parents love me. They're good at coming off that way, but don't let your guard down. And, Chloe, we just need to make it through dinner. Try not to say anything that, you know... That I would normally say. Exactly. Just some quality time. With the Ambers, what could possibly go wrong? Hey there, Mrs. Amber. Chloe, I'm so glad you're joining us tonight. So, you putting me to work or what? Yes, if you could please take four plates from the cupboard and set them on the table. Uh, what if I can't? Excuse me? 
You said if I could. Never mind. You're a riot, Chloe. All right, Chloe, you've set the table without ruining someone's marriage before. If I open this, will skeletons come spilling out? No skeletons. Lots of shiny dishes, though. off to the table with you. That's an original who gives a shit. H how many cabinets do you need? Glasses. Damn. The ambers are fancy as shit. Something about this photo doesn't seem right. I should fix it. Can't tag this while Rachel's mom is right there. She totally bust me. Yes, Chloe? Plates? Check. Anything else? Actually, could you be a dear and ask Mr. Amber what he'd like to drink with dinner? I will be a dear. Talking to James. As long as I can avoid using the words cheating and scumbag, I should be fine. So this is what normal looks like. It's somehow way more boring and way weirder than I imagined. It's crazy to picture Rachel growing up here and being happy here, at least before she met me. And now I'm taking her away. <laughs> or is she taking me away? This doesn't really seem like the kind of place people run away from. <laughs> what am I saying? Fuck this place. I bet there's like not even a single Cheeto stuck in this thing. Doing the play was bad enough without having to read about it after. Hmm. How to clear browser history followed by a gap for all of yesterday. That's like cheating asshat 101. Poor Rachel.
Holy shit. That's the guy who attacked Drew. It's like a thousand times more skeevy when the ski- They say all news is local, but damn. Hiya, Mr. Amber. Chloe, what can I do for you? What's your vice, Mr. Amber? I'm sorry? Your wife wants to know what kind of drink you're having. Ah, let's say sherry. Okay. One, two, three, sherry. Comical. Chloe, maybe you can help me understand something. I'll give it a shot. Rose and I... Find James, we're see what he about wants Rachel. to drink. Yesterday was Got so it. unlike her. What do you suppose is going on? Hard to say. Maybe she's rebelling against something. Or someone. What would Rachel have to rebel against? We've given her everything she could ask for. Yet... I'm not sure I buy the narrative you laid out this morning in the principal's office. Rachel is not known for following along with anything she doesn't want to. I'd be lying if I said I didn't have concerns about your friendship, but perhaps you're exactly who Find Rachel James, needs right now as see what she he wants to drink. navigates the choppy waters of adolescence. Uh, thanks. Solve it. Crossword puzzles are easy. Yes, Chloe? The boss man would like a sherry. Thank you. The glasses are in the china cabinet. You can place one at his setting. How am I supposed to get to China? Kidding. <laughs> it's the fancy looking cabinet, right? You got it. <laughs> so clean. I bet Rose would kill it with my mom at the diner. Huh. <laughs> Rachel really was an overachiever before she met me. Glad I nipped that in the bud. Uh... It's the triangle-shaped one. Basic shapes. <laughs> now you're speaking my language. Yes, Chloe? What else? <laughs> Feel like I'm getting good at this. Only one last step. As our guest, you may do the honor of lighting the candles. The lighter is in the- It's cool. I've got my own. Oh. You never know when you'll need to light a candle. <laughs> right? You are a paragon of preparedness. Thanks. I, I think. Time to- Light some candles, and finally, Mrs. Amber has her back turned. <sighs> Time to fix this photo. Ugh. 
Well, good. Dinner will be ready in just a moment. Did you light the candles? Rachel and I both had great childhoods. Mine just ended a little before hers, I guess. The Amber family and fire. What could possibly go wrong? So, Chloe, are 